I played with this for a few hours yesterday and I just can't see how this is useful for life and it feels more like a very expensive piece of cheap entertainment. My wife and our newborn come home from the ICU today and over the last 48 hours my wife's been like on a breastfeeding trial making sure he can feed well enough for how sick he was. So what's my goal? Make sure the house is clean. So I thought I've seen people plastering notes tabs, TV tabs, YouTube all around their house. I'm gonna try that and see if it's actually any good because normally I wouldn't be watching YouTube while I'm clearing up or doing some kind of mundane task. I just got the low battery notification, so I don't know why this didn't charge last night. I get a second battery for the battery. Is it charging? Yeah. You know, it's funny, I look at a task like this, I would never have the TV on. I probably wouldn't even be listening to music. I think also the fact that because we already have one child, he's normally here and that's our entertainment. We're not trying to take away from living in the moment. I do, da. I'd open the curtains, but I don't want you to see out. <laughs> Hi, Lala, can I have this, please? Thank you. Putting something up on, oh gosh, where's the? There we go. All right, Safari. I've noticed the clicking doesn't work down here very well. I did actually film a bit last night, but the screen recording, it did work. It worked really well, but then I just unplugged it from the cable and of course lost it. So this, I'm gonna put up there where the TV goes and it like fades in behind, which is quite cool. And then reposition it. Like that looks pretty cool. I, I mean, obviously I'm not listening to it as I'm talking to you because I cannot concentrate on any one thing at a time. Which makes me think about um, like multitasking. My wife's a believer in multitasking. I think she's absolutely full of crap. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to multitask the way I see it. You have, you have your brain capacity. They say, I don't know, you only use like what, I don't know, 20% of your brain, maybe even less than that. Why can't I fold this properly? And I want it to be nice. Yeah, she feels like you can, like she can multitask. I highly disagree because I feel like you have whatever brain power you can provide, you can work with at that time. And that is just then shared across the task you're doing. So like me right now, I'm sure I could fold this a lot faster. Or maybe this is more of a mundane task, that this can be done, you know, doing something else because you don't really have to think about it too much. But other tasks that require thought, I just don't see how you can effectively do those at the same time. You'd be sharing your brain capacity, your ability to think through each of those. Like another thing you notice, like I guess this style of content you're watching right now, it's much slower, it's a much slower pace and it's something that you might stick up on the TV up here while you're cleaning the house or while you're scrolling on your phone. I'm not in love with having all these cables around me. Oh gosh, unplugged it. Okay. <laughs> I guess I need to wrap this cable up. How do I do that now? Oh, I just bring it round. Maybe unplug it. Goodness me. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just don't have the brain capacity for bloody anything. You know, I remember being in school and the internet wasn't really a thing. It was still at the time where when you'd come home from school, you'd get on MSN to talk to your crush and your mum would hop on the phone to talk to her friends. And you'd be, mom, get off the phone. Because the internet would die. And when I think about it now, that was really the beginning of a life of online. Because I remember just running home from school as fast as I could because I wanted to get back home to be on MSN to talk to my crush at the time. Like I'd never talk to her at school. God, God, no. 
I couldn't be doing that. Like I, I've gone on to a new video and this thing is now huge. I kind of, can you change perspective? You can. Like that fits so much better. You know what, let's just try it for a second. I mean, oh, I've got the flipping batteries all over me, don't I? I guess I'll just sit uncomfortably here for a second. Let's go volume on. Oh, so it does change perspective as you, from the position you are, that you make moves on it. So I'm just thinking, like if I'm here texting Shay, wait, let's play this in the background. I'm certainly not meant to be on loop. All right, definitely don't want it that big. I could just feel like this is a gimmick. All right, let's go on messages here. Oh dear. Just ignore me. Space, just see, it's still, it's not perfect. Testing vision. You know what is actually quite interesting is Oh, this is quite interesting. So now the um, keyboard is in my way and I could also, no, I can't do it like that. But I am done with use keyboard. Now here's the part that I really struggle with with this. As a married man with two kids, the only time I spend on my own is when I'm downstairs in my office. But I haven't yet worked out how I can make this useful for my workflow given that I'm just on the go all the time and it doesn't make sense to have this on my face. But what if doing mundane tasks like cleaning or the things that we actually, here's an example. My wife and I have talked about, we very much would love to have a cleaner come and clean the house once a week or once every two weeks because neither of us enjoy doing it. Neither of us enjoy cooking and yet we have to do it. But if we had the money, we would pay someone else to do it for us. So my question is, can you make the tasks that we have to do in life more bearable? Like, can you find a way to make them enjoyable? Now this is kind of counterintuitive to how I do things. I'm trying to bring this in the other room with me. And I can't seem to get a good hold, like it's highlighting. I have to reset. Nope, that doesn't. There we go, now we've got it. So just a pinch, and I'm carrying Casey into the kitchen with me, and I'm gonna put you right there between the two cupboards. It feels surreal that I'm now looking through the camera screen, and I can't see the TV here. When we moved into this house, skip that ad. I remember looking at the size of the lawn and thinking, I don't want to have to do that every day. I would like to pay someone else to do that. But then something weird happened. I really started to enjoy mowing the lawn. I really enjoyed the time out, uh, the kind of the, I'd say peace and quiet, but I had nothing going on. I had no, you know, in that moment, I couldn't be doing anything else. I couldn't be writing down notes of things I was thinking about. I couldn't be planning out a video. I couldn't be thinking of ideas. I could just be in that moment. And in that moment, I just remember thinking, I really like mowing the lawn. 
It takes about 20, 30 minutes of my day and I just quite enjoy it. But this kind of makes me question if that's the way I should be doing it. You know, the idea seems wild to me that I could want to do a task that provi like seemingly provides no real value to me. Like when you're self-employed, you think about time as in money, especially at the beginning. I don't know what the end looks like or anywhere past the beginning. The switch from going corporate world to self-employed is a switch where money becomes a major factor. It changes, and I'm, str I'm struggling and battling with working through it, but it changes the perspective from making a video that was for fun or doing something for fun and like, if it goes somewhere, cool, awesome, to now, this has to go somewhere. Because if I don't, if it doesn't go somewhere, I don't have money for my family. Like even something as simple as washing baby bottles. Also, I was pretty annoyed last night. I filmed like 30 minutes or so of my experience cleaning up in here. And as you can see, it didn't go particularly well. And it stopped because I turned this off and lost the footage. And at that point, it was quite late and it was just, do I try again and kind of like force whatever I'm trying to get out? Or do I just let it go and try again? So here we are. <laughs> you know, weirdly, as I've... See, I had this realization yesterday. Let's get some hot water running that my wife and I actually live this kind of like trap house type of look. Like nothing in our house really matches. We've got glasses and cups that don't match. We, I mean, there's lime scale on the kettle. There's bits of Legos lying around. These Legos came from an idea I had a long time ago of in our first ever apartment after college idea was that I would stick them on the wall, and I did in the last place, and then you'd have little Lego figurines that attach to your keychain, and you could just snap them on when you come in the house. It didn't last very long. Okay, I saw this guy that had his whole setup, his house set up with like YouTube up in one area. He had like a notes tab over here, so I'm thinking I'll try and do that. Let's get it. And you see also, I've built myself a system. Okay, I, thankfully everything's loading in, so and pull that to the side for a second. I built a system where every day I have an automation that runs. It creates a new note in Apple Notes. And then I can do something like this. Pod vlog note. What's the text? Add sausages, because I want to get those later and I need them up my bum. Cool, and then, so now I've just added a note and I, annoyingly this doesn't work when it's unlocked, but if I just say pod blog quickie, it brings up my note for the day and I have a couple of automations that run in there each day. But what's the difference between, like let's say, notes is still going. Come on, why aren't you, can't grab it. See, this is the other thing too, like the annoyances of these things. So I'm going to try and stick it on the fridge here. Uh, so now we have a viewpoint that does not look great. I guess I'm gonna to have to stretch you out again. Grab and pull. Where's my pod blog topics? See, it's still loading in. All right, well, while that loads in, I guess I'll just leave you there for the moment. And then, but like, what's the difference between me just having it on the side of the sink? That works just fine. If I want to watch a YouTube video, I could just do it on the side of the sink and then do it with AirPods. But I will tell you, oops, I accidentally just pinched and grabbed this that the audio in this is amazing. I was not expecting it. I just took this off to go to the bathroom and it's a pain with the batteries and whatnot. 
batteries, plural. You can see I'm using pumpkin bread to prop up the camera, which brings me on to the point that, uh, I guess I have to preface it with this. I wouldn't have bought this to keep. In fact, I had the mentality that either through content it pays for itself or I take it back. So let me explain the pumpkin bread. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the Vision Pro, by the way. Also, I understand that this shot seems, it's very set up, isn't it? I just thought it was interesting. My wife goes to church. I'm not really a believer in that, but she kind of expressed the story of the troubles we had with our child in the NICU. And one lady set up a meal train. So we have food coming men Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is just, it's such a nice thing of people. And if I'm being disgustingly honest with myself, I don't ever see, I wouldn't have seen myself like offering to do a meal for a family in need. Like friends that have had children and whatnot, yeah, I'll send them a meal. You know, ask what they want, whatever. But I've now learned from this experience a new level of empathy and how the next time I see someone in trouble or going through something like this, where the last thing they want to think about is food, I now have this experience, I now have this understanding and hopefully I can do something just as nice as bringing food for people. You know, just something so small. I think Ruger's gonna be up in a minute and I don't have breakfast so I might make him some oats. <laughs> Lime scale kettle. Now, interestingly, I haven't looked up once to see what's going on on this show. I don't know if that's just because I'm not used to it, like the idea of watching something while I work. But I also feel like I don't need it. I don't need that kind of stimulation. probably do with being organized. You know, if you have one kid, I think this would be kind of cool. Because, like, if our new son Kobe's gonna be coming home today, he could easily just sit in his crib. I could be working, and like, let's say I'm working on a you know, Mac display with this, which I'll try out again later or try out for the first time later. You know, if he's next to me sleeping, like I'll you know, give Shay a chance to sleep today, then I can just, you know, quick look down, check on him. But I think the problem comes when you have apps that don't integrate. So like, this is the camera we use for our child, for Rugi, to see how he's doing in his room, if it wants to connect. But I don't know if I see that as an app find out. I don't know about you, but I have turned off pretty much all notifications on my phone. Uh, I'm looking for outlet. Yeah, see, not on here. So now I have to have my phone with me if I want to be watching my child. But obviously that's going to get better over time as these apps then pour over. So a temporary issue, we'll call it. Okay, all right, well, that's good news then. So I'll be on standby. Okay. <laughs> all right.
I'll see you in a bit. Right, <laughs> I love you too. Bye. I haven't set up my persona yet, so lucky her. She can't see the monstrosity of what that would be. Before I leave this area, I wanted to share a thought. I've got my notes here. I've got, oh, I guess I've got the app store there. Not particularly thrilling. I've got a video here. Like when I think back to being a child, all I ever did, once, you know, MSM was done for a bit and everyone was going off to dinner, I just had a ball with me at all times, a football, a soccer ball. I was, there were times that I was bored, but my solution to getting out of boredom was to go and kick a ball around, to text friends, to go and meet at the park. There was a point in my life I told myself, Oliver, your goal is to never be bored. And honestly, I haven't been bored in a decade. And I think this ant farm is a pretty good indication of that. Although this isn't the thing that's like what I'm obsessing over at the moment. They're doing parkour in this one. It's actually Apple shortcuts. They've been really sweet and I just can't stop automating my lifestyle. That was such a douchey thing to say. So let's try out the Mac virtual display. I've read through the instructions and it's meant to be that I stare at my Mac screen here. So like, here's the setup. Oh, the setup, ooh. I should stare at my display and then something should show up above it. That's not, that's not doing it. What about through control center here? Screen mirroring, okay, let's see what happens. I go through control center and start trying to, okay, there we go. Okay, so let's say, I do want that in front of everything, so I guess I'm gonna have to go further back. What if I put that? Yes, yeah, so I don't like how it's kind of transparent, but it is amazing. That's crazy. Oh wait. Okay, so when I, sorry, when I move it, it's transparent. So then if I were to grab my mouse and stuff, okay, move back, then I could edit everything from here. I mean, it looks really clean. And then like, let's say, I had this idea earlier. Oh gosh, what have I done? I put the free form here, so like I can take notes, like let's say I'm working on here. Where is Safari? Oh wait, so how do I? Hmm. Can I? So I can't actually do anything with this screen. Yeah, since the, this is actually just. Yeah, so it doesn't track my eyes on this screen. So I still have to control that with the mouse and keyboard, which I wasn't expecting. Me, I'm having to sit back a bit. What if I... This is a shortcut I'm working on. I'm fairly close to finishing it now. I, I normally actually do all these on my phone at the gym. But this one, at the end of the, whatever time I set at the end of the day, is going to bring up every photo or piece of media that I take that day and allow me to sort each of those into a different album that I've set. And the whole point of that is, because I film stuff for like, I'll film stuff for the YouTube, for the pod vlog, I'll film stuff for TikTok, for just like personal stuff. Well, I needed a way for it to know when it's finished moving all of the content from that day so that it just finishes. And essentially it tells me you need to move everything that you filmed that day. I do have another shortcut that I've been using a lot this one, 
just album choice. But every time the camera app, you close the camera app and a media piece of media has been created in the last one minute, it will bring up a menu choice for you. I'll just show you. So like, let's say I could do it from here. Can't do face ID. So like, let's say I record this piece of video, I stop it, go out of the camera app. It should bring up here. Where do I want to put that to? Let's say the personal file. And then it's saved now to an album so that when I come to transferring everything over to my computer, I could just use everything from that album. I know where it goes and I don't just have a load of random crap left in my recent camera roll. All right, I know a lot of people really like the idea of like having a YouTube video up while they do stuff. I am not that. Put it on the bloody ceiling. No, why would I watch it up there? So let's move that to maybe make this a lot smaller. So I want it maybe there. So then I'm staring at this one. And then I have that playing. Like, let's just screw it. Let's just watch you mute it full screen. I don't want it that big. There. Like, to me, this is too much going on. Like, I struggle enough with being able to focus on one thing at a time. But the idea of having that up at the same time is just mental. Can you do... Oh. What if you can... What if I try and learn something so I can watch the YouTube video while I do it in real life? What should I learn? My wife, yes, I got an idea. The battery is one thing about the Vision Pro, but this, there's no way you can do that without being zesty. That is the real downfall of the, whatever this is. This is meant to be uh, a wrap. You can put a baby in this, apparently. So let me find the middle. Upside down, that's a good start. So I watched my wife try and put this on this morning. She did it, she managed it, she watched the tutorial. So what are we about to do? Oh, let me... Uh, how do I find the up arrow? How bloody... Why am I looking all the way up here? Okay, let's drag you over to here. I'm gonna put you over the top of the camera. That's quite sweet. Just look at the mess all around here. This, uh, I guess you can go. How cool was that? That was slick to me. Honestly, I do think this thing is amazing. Just the battery, how long it lasts for, the size of it, it's not crazy comfy. Just waiting, you know, until it gets so much better. Oh, I'm on the phone. Isn't that funny how I got out of this to answer that call? That is absolutely on me, I think. Like this thing is designed, like it even has an icon that pops up. You may have seen it on the end of the screen recording. Let me start screen recording again. Did you guys know I'm on TikTok? So since Ruger's been in the hospital, I haven't really been able to do my normal style of video and I've been wanting to change it, which give me, give me 60 seconds to explain this. So this video here on the left side, that is just a very chilled out style as is Becoming Happy Part 2, Solar Cops winner, which I thought would be a viral series, especially with this headset on. And then this one, the first one that I posted this morning, I loved that video, really enjoyed that one. It hasn't done very well, retention on it isn't very good. And you're starting to, to really, I don't know. My old previous stuff, like if I go down, like yeah, 2 million, 100K, 4 million. Like all of these are like pretty well built for retention. And I think I might have to go back to these a bit. Anyway, sorry, we're looking about how to do, how to, are you really going to make me, well, how am I going to do that? 
I won't be surprised if they bring out more gestures for your hands, but for now, this is what you have. Black and spread over your shoulders, kind of like angel wings. Oh gosh, go back. Two tails and one center piece. Find the center of the wrap. Got it, you. Indicated by the check. Yep. Take the center right on your chest. Oh, on my boobs? Behind you and a flash. This is not fair. Oh, wait. Uh, this is the thing about the pinching, like my hand was over here and it wouldn't recognize it. So you're just straight around. Why did you skip about four steps? You know, I'm going to turn you on to like half speed or something. I watch most videos on like 1.25 at least. This is not easy with the cable. It's obviously also, you know, not like it's crazy difficult either. Okay. Me and you, girly, bestie, we're in a good spot right now. I'm not going to lie to you, I thought this experience would be a lot easier Each with the video up. Okay, what am I doing with this? See? The cable. Absolutely ridiculous. What's happened? Oh, I've just skipped the whole flipping video. A baby fits in this slot here. Legs come out the bottom. Let's see how she fits her baby in. You just like load it in. All right, I am gonna go get a baby. I will be right back. These are actually pretty easy to come by. So let me change positions with you. Hi, buddy. Put the microphone. It's okay, bud. Where would I put the microphone? It's going to go on my head. Let me turn the volume up on this. It's all right, bud. Okay. Oh, he's got the cord. There we go. All right. It's like this, this age. There's so, you feel so delicate with them. Hi, buddy. Yeah. What you doing? Let's get both legs in. It's okay. It's all right. I haven't done it right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back up to lie down. But I, this works, this works. Successful. So I had to stop yesterday making this video because uh, Shane, the baby, were coming home. But I spent some time, I say spent some time, I just started thinking about what ways could I actually find use in this that work for the battery life and for you know, feeling it on your face and things to do. Let's go and show you. Well, I was going to show you laundry, but it looks like my wife already did it. That was a thing. I did it the other night, but I was watching Ruger at the same time. Oh, gosh. And it's one of those tasks where you stay in the same place and you can like just grab and fold and put it down to the side while you're watching TV. I thought that was a really good use case. Next one, brushing your tussy pegs. All right, so you're in the mirror, you can just stare at the mirror, watch something. What are you looking at over there? Uh, no, I'm not recording on here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I was. I saved the laundry yesterday so I could fold it for this video, but you flipping ruined it, didn't you? Yeah, how dare you? No, I mean, yeah, I should have. You probably would have been in your best interest, but thank you for doing it. Yeah, brushing your teeth, a really good one. Cooking? Mm, I don't think so. Actually, I've got an idea, but this will only work if you can do multiple safari tabs. So let's find out. This angle's not gonna work. I'm all backlit. That's not ideal either. All right, something I found to be super annoying is when you want the home, so you, when you want this screen, up until now I thought you've had to just, you have to press this button, which means you have to bring your hands up. Very annoying. But you can get to it that way, which is quite nice. 
Hey, Lila, that's enough. Um, can you have multiple tabs open? Yes. You can, all right. Just give me, time lapse me for a second. I'm gonna set this up. Let's go! Are you in the camera? Go back a little bit. <laughs> What's a funny online game that people used to play, Shay? Funny? Yeah, well, not, it doesn't have to be like comical funny, but just like, would be like nostalgic to have in a video. And now I need to reset my point of view. <laughs> Dude, this is how you enjoy the WNBA. I'm sorry, but women's basketball is trash. <laughs> Your turn next, Duda. Yeah. How do you press play? I'm looking at it. Ah, how do I move? You pinch and like swing your fingers around where you want it to go. Oh, I just lost already. Nice. Oh, I lost again. Didn't it only just start? <laughs> oh. Why are, you, why are you pinching with whole hand? <laughs> it's not working. Where are you off to? <laughs> It's not highlighting. Doing a flipping full body Zumba workout with this thing on, aren't you? It's not highlighting. I think if you reach up high enough, you could pinch it. <laughs> oh, you're drawing. Forget about the screen recording. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on accident. What are you doing? I'm trying to move the screen. This is really weird. Seeing you now interacting with it, I don't know if it's just how clumsy you look, but you look so stupid. <laughs> like navigating around, like I just imagine someone in public with this. Yeah, I feel like this would be really weird to wear in public. Yeah, but you can see really well, can't you? Oh, gosh. Doesn't it feel it's like heavy. it's crazy? It's it is heavy. heavy on my head. It hurts Your, my... The band also isn't in the right place. So. It hurts me. There's absolutely no denying that this thing is crazy cool, but I'm living in fear every time I want to put it down. Like, I've seen the different tests of how well this can cope with stress, and it's not great, so it has to have this film on it. So where do I sit with it? First of all, it's not for me. I have a perfectly fine setup that does all the jobs in the world, like just over here. My whiteboard, I use this pretty much every single day, nothing wrong with it. Yes, I would like for a, a film to come over and I can just like have multiple whiteboards. So that's where the free form might be quite good, to have multiple tabs. But if I think about over here, I could just have two monitors. As it is, I barely use this one. I just take this bloody everywhere, especially with an SSD pouch. Which makes me think that the limitation really, ooh, serious, really comes in the person who's using it and how well they can make it adapt to their lifestyle. But for me and my lifestyle, it's that kind of start something, jump onto something else, then jump on something else. I don't really, how do I say it? But I think I just prefer the $3,500 back in my bank account. For the future, I think it could be amazing. But I stand with what I said at the beginning. I think it's a super expensive, cheap toy. And I'll be returning it. <laughs> oh, this must have been what Shay wrote for me. Ollie likes men. I mean, if I have one complaint, the handwriting is bloody atrocious. <laughs>